Ellen. Hey, Sue. You know how when we're coaching teams, they always say they'd like to see co-teaching in action? Let's share with them how we can help them do that. We're so fortunate to have co-teaching demonstration sites ranging from pre-K to high school right here in Virginia through the VDOE Excellence in Co-Teaching Initiative that was started in 2014. Because of this, teams and administrators can schedule virtual and face-to-face -face visits, take advantage of, of professional development, and a plethora of online resources. On our co-teaching resource page, notice we've added the tab titled Excellence in Co-Teaching to make sure it's always available when we post a new featured resource. And now let's go to TTAC Online. This is where all those resources are housed. When you go to TTAC Online, you're gonna to need to create an account, but it'll help keep track of what you use when you're using their website. When you get there, you'll go to the far right tab that says online trainings and go to the e-workshops. Once there, you'll notice there are three that pertain to the Excellence in Code Teaching Initiative. The very top one that says Real Co-Teachers of Virginia Go Virtual, the fourth one that says the Real Co-Teachers of Virginia Elementary, and the Real Co-Teachers of Virginia Middle and High. We're going to focus today on the Real Co-Teachers of Virginia Go Virtual. When you get there, the top two sites for Co-Teaching Counts Elementary and Co-Teaching Counts Middle have lots of videos and lesson plans that you can use. Let's focus on co-teaching tips. You'll notice there are seven resources to check out. We really found the virtual accommodations from Armstrong High School very helpful. Now, as you start your new school year, we think using the co-planning from Laurel Park Middle to be a great tool to assist you. They've made a video of their co-planning process using a Frayer model to show how they incorporate co-teaching in the already established lesson plan template. This is so helpful for teachers to use the same lesson plan for their classes that may not be co-taught, and then use this Frayer model to add in the co-teaching roles and responsibilities. This also allows administrators or peer observers to have look-fors when they plan a visit. So if you're interested in visiting a co-teaching demonstration site virtually or in person, or searching for resources to enhance your co-teaching this year, such as lesson plans, videos, and sample newsletters, take time to visit TTAC Online e-workshops. And as always, you can contact us here at the TTAC. Thank you.